Welcome to episode 758, Ty Warner, Nine Lessons. This is an outline of episode 758, lesson 1 to lesson 5. Here is lesson 6 to lesson 9. Lesson 1, the Beanie Baby Bubble. Well, it was a mass delusion. Now, it reminded me of the great tulip mania in the Netherlands in the 17th century. When the value of one tulip was about fifty thousand dollars today, well, the most expensive Beanie Baby also sold for about fifty thousand dollars. Let's look at the price of the Beanie Babies after the price bust. Lesson two: long list of failures until his mid forties. He was a bad student. He dropped out of college after just one year. Well, he's also a bad son, and he failed as an actor, and he was fired by his boss. Lost his job because he was trying to sell his own toys alongside the toys he was supposed to be selling. As you might expect, the company didn't like that. Lesson three: The secret man, age seventy-five. He has never been married, has no kids. Is he gay? Nobody knows. Second, he granted few interviews. He never talks about himself. I could only find ten seconds of videos on him. Lesson four: Ty Warner is a crook. In 2013, he pleaded guilty to tax invasion, of hiding 100 million dollars in Switzerland. He paid 53.6 million dollars penalty, and avoided jail. Lesson five: The disadvantaged childhood bullshit. In his tax evasion trial, he often cited his poor and disadvantaged childhood. He lied. This is the house he grew up in suburban Chicago. Lesson six: He was the first internet profitable entrepreneur long before Jeff Bezos made a profit. 1997, 1998, Beanie Babies were about 10% of eBay sales at times, and there, there are insiders at eBay, former insiders, who will, who will now say eBay was built on the backs of Beanie Babies. That without Beanie Babies, eBay might not have ever taken off because you needed something that was small, easy to ship, and really hard to get locally in order to lure people into e-commerce. And in lesson seven. How to create scarcity? He would release a new Beanie Baby, and then a few months later announce it was going to be retired at the end of the month. So everyone would try to figure out which store was selling that particular one and go wait in line to get it. Some people weren't fortunate enough to get it straight from the stores, so they searched for it on eBay. And like I said, in many many cases. Paid an absurd amount of money to get.、It. Ty just kept doing it, releasing new ones, retiring old ones, and sending everyone into a frenzy each time. And yeah. Lesson eight: He understands cash flow. Ten years after the Beanie Baby bust, he now became a high-class landlord. He now owns a number of the most prestigious hotels, such as the Hotel Four Seasons in New York. And Las Ventanas Al Paraiso Resort in Mexico, one of the most expensive resort in the world. It's a nine, one hundred percent ownership or self-financing. That is no outside investors. Remember, he's one hundred percent owner of the company. All the profits from Beanie Baby sales went straight to him back in the nineties during the craze and still today. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and leave your questions and comments below. Wishing everyone peace and prosperity.